it's that time again. happening guys we're back at work like always um, working on a a darned old Ford like normal um, he has no turn signals and no four-way flashers and something else no no brake lights I think um, but I think I found the problem let's see if I can show you here I think it's gonna be this handle see how I don't click in I think his actual turn signal lever right there, the controller or whatever you want to call it, is bad. All the fuses are good and everything else, so I'm pretty sure that's what's going to be the problem. I got to pull apart the steering wheel and do some testing to make sure, make sure it's even getting power, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. So I thought I'd just say hey to y'all for a minute while I had a second, and I'm going to get to tearing that thing apart. That was right. This thing right here is what was bad. Um, let me get the switch on. Now we got turn signals. Dang, I'm good. Alright guys, uh, I got my baby back in here again, as you can see. The, uh, I got up this morning, and this is like a two day video, by the way. Um, didn't really have anything recorded yesterday that I figured y'all would care to see. Let me set y'all down right here. Oh no. That y'all would care to see. And I didn't want to bore y'all with boring stuff. So I figured I'd just make this into a two day video. Um, I like doing the everyday thing, but I don't want to bug y'all with just boring work all the time. But I figure since today's Friday, I'm going to actually edit and upload this video today uh, on my lunch break. So when, by the time y'all see this, it's like, hold on, I can't keep up with nothing. Tony, getting old, losing my brain cells, can't remember nothing. As y'all can see, 11 30, well, up. Hold on, god dang it. There we go. Bam. So, here in a little while when I take lunch, y'all will actually be seeing this. I'll upload it right then. Um, so this is from today, in other words. Uh, but I woke up this morning and my truck wouldn't start, which is weird. Because I have a uh, battery here and a battery right there. I got two batteries there and I got two batteries in the bed that are on the solar panel, which has nothing to do with the truck. That's just for my camping and my my, my secondary power inverter and just all that other crap but there was, it something happened last night from the time I got home to this morning that killed both those batteries so I'm hoping I don't have a dead cell in one of them but I figure that rough dirt road over there to my hunting land is what's got a battery terminal loose so I'm gonna check that but also look what I got fixed Wow! for some of y'all that don't know what this is I'm sure a lot of y'all will, so, well, if I don't break it, because I just dropped it. Well, it's our CBS, but it's a uh, uh, ammo reloader. It's a press. I reload my own ammo for my uh, 338 Lapua Magnum. And I reload my own 223s or, or 556s five, 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 anyway. Um, and I'm about to buy a die to reload my uh, my sidearm ammo, which is a 45 ACP that I carry. I carry my, my SIG 1911. Uh, it's my SIG Scorpion. So I'm going to start reloading them. But I don't know if y'all remember, like, it's been probably two months, three months, something like that. Big old freaking oak tree fell and hit my granddad's building. And I had all, you know, my press, all my dies, all my brass, powder, primers, case trimmers, tumbler, and everything was in that building on my uh, ammo reloading table that I had that thing bolted to. And uh, sorry for the noise, that's my our heater. But uh, a tree fell, I mean a humongous oak tree fell, and actually hit this thing. This thing was bolted on the table like this and it hit and landed 
right there and stopped it. It actually held the tree up. It took and shoved the whole, the drawer, I mean the uh, cabinet was about as big as this red toolbox, that bottom part it was sitting on, and it actually shoved it through the floor of the building and held the tree up off of everything else. That thing did. So that, that you gotta pay extra for that, uh, that name, that RCBS, but man is it, that thing held up a, I mean a humongous tree. I'm not talking some little tiny tree. I'm talking about a big freaking oak tree. So that's good. And it's actually been seized up, I guess, sitting out there until we got the tree cut off of it. It rusted. So we put it over in the vise this morning and sprayed it down, got it WD-40, and I sat there and worked it and got it freed up. So as you can see, now it's working good. So we gotta put that back in the truck. And I gotta quit making a mess, god dang it. But I got that, I gotta check my truck, and that's pretty much it for the day. We've got, um, you know, we got a, I got a few things I got to do, customer vehicles and stuff as well. But on on uh, rainy days like this, most of our customers are, you know, a little older, like retired people. They don't like to get out when it rains. So as far as walk-ins, we're usually kind of slow -er on that. But I have a bunch of stuff to do today from, you know, customers that drop their vehicles off. But as far as walk-ins, I'll be pretty slow. So I'd say this is probably where I'm going to end it. But just so y'all know, the whole reason why wanted to get this thing fixed is I've got some ideas which I've been telling y'all and I know y'all probably wondering hey, when in the world am I going to do them well we're not going hunting this weekend um, we're going to go next because next weekend I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this too and I'll let you know again later next Friday is the 16th I'm leaving and I won't be back until the 25th yeah 25th I think. In other words I'm leaving next Friday and I won't be back until the following Sunday. So like 10 days I'll be gone. So there won't be no video uploads then because I'm going down south to our club and because during Thanksgiving week I always stay a whole week and I'm going to go down the weekend before and stay then too. And there's no signal down there. So I won't be able to upload or nothing for that whole week. But then that Monday when I get back, that Sunday, when I get back that evening, I'm going to start editing and uploading and get everything ready for y'all should have a bunch of videos. Because, I mean, I'm going to record, be filming the whole time, and I'm going to be down there that much. So I hope to get some hogs and some deer, and, you know, hope we get something, in other words. So we should have some videos, quite a few. And in this weekend, since we're not going hunting, I'm going to have a bunch of stuff I got going on. Uh, got some pretty cool pretty cool stuff uh think y'all enjoy it it's supposed to just, i'm gonna try to at least start doing one a week if i can um that's the problem especially now in winter time the time i get off work it's dark i mean like it's literally dark when i go to get my truck to leave work so it's kind of hard hard to go home and do stuff outside but i got some ideas uh we're gonna get uh actually right here's kind of one of them there well let's see let me back up where y'all can see There we go. Finally. It's hard to look at that thing down and then whatever. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all joining me and we'll see y'all. Well, I guess y'all will see this today. So since y'all are seeing this today, I guess I'll see y'all Monday. Yeah, because today's Friday. So, yeah. All right. Well, until next time, y'all have a good one.